The Wise Channel celebrates history makers who did amazing things. Mom and Dad are ordering pizza. What kind do you want? I know exactly what I want. I want pepperoni okay. and sausage okay. and Katanji Brown Jackson. Katanji what? Katanji Brown Jackson. She's on the United States Supreme Pizza. Everybody knows that. She's not on the United States Supreme Pizza. Katanji Jackson is on the United States Supreme Court. What you talking about, Willis? My name isn't Willis, and Katanji Brown Jackson is not a pizza topping. Whatever. I know all about her. Katanji was born in 1970 in Washington, D.C., but her family moved to Miami, Florida when she was three years old. I know about her, too. Education was very important to her family. Her dad was a lawyer and her mom was a principal. I bet that made family dinners interesting. Katanji, did you finish your homework? Um... My daughter has the right to remain silent. Well, she better exercise her right to do her homework or she's gonna find herself in detention. Katanji was a great student at Miami Palmetto Senior High School. That's the same school Jeff Bezos went to. She went to the same school as the guy who started Amazon and is one of the richest people in the world? Yes. Oh man, nobody famous goes to my school. I go to your school. Like I said, nobody famous goes to my school. Why does that school produce so many famous people? They probably serve broccoli for lunch. You know it's a superfood. Anyways, after high school, she went to a law school at Harvard. A lot of rich and famous people go to Harvard, too. I bet it's the broccoli. No, it is probably because many of the students come from and are welcomed into an elite network of professionals with tremendous socioeconomic and political power. Boom. No, it's the broccoli. After law school, she worked as a law clerk, helping judges and as a lawyer defending people in court. In 2012, President Obama chose Katandi to be a judge in the U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. Nine years later, President Biden nominated her to be a judge for the U.S. Court of Appeals, which is an even higher court. After Justice Stephen Breyer decided to retire from the Supreme Court, President Biden nominated Judge Jackson to the highest court of the land, making her the first African-American woman nominated to the United States Supreme Court. So you're saying she's not on the United States Supreme Pizza? No! There's no way! <laughs> Wait. But I bet she puts broccoli on her pizza. Before her nomination, of the 115 people who have ever been on the Supreme Court, 110 of them have been white men, just five had been women, only three had been people of color, and none have been African American women. Many people see her nomination as a sign of progress. It's a reminder that great minds come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and genders. That reminder will be with us for a while. Supreme Court justices can keep their job for the rest of their lives. For life? Justice Jackson, you better keep eating your broccoli, sister. Again with the broccoli? We waited this long for an African-American woman to be on the Supreme Court. I need her good and healthy so she can stay there for a long time. That's a good point. Eat your broccoli, Justice Jackson. And drink lots of water. Let's talk. Education was important to Katanji's family. How did it help her? How can education help you? Out of the first 115 Supreme Court justices, 110 have been white men. Why do you think there have been so few women and people of color on the Supreme Court? What toppings would you put on your own Supreme Pizza? Have you subscribed to The Wise Channel yet? If not, do it right now and make sure you hit that little bell icon to be notified when we release new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.